مناسبة بلارن ولو جحوس يي مالنتا أي مدوبين مدوجا أفريكا يا هبين كي حال لوجو قبتي مقالة مقدشة عاصمة الصومالية وحنا مناسبة داسك قبل جلي مسؤولين كترسن دولة فدرا الكاس الصومالية فضم الشيخ عبد الله أي وربحين توركا إنه قصود درتي مقالة مقدشة عاصمة الصومالية مناسبة دانو لوجو وينين يي مالنتا مدوجا أفريكا هم مالنتا أي مدوبين لما ودم تدع قرار دا أفريكا أي لوجو قبتي مقالة مقدشة مناسبة دان أي واحد سنة دولة بلقى حصا قرار دا أفريكا شن يلباتن كبيش مي وحنا كسو قيب قلي مسؤولين كترسن حكومة دا سوماليا هو كيها جار كي قرار مدو مدوبي أقابل سنة رمها سوماليا مايكل كيتين بده حاول قرار دا مدوجا أفريكا فرنكوسي سمنديارا يمرت شرف قلا مناسبة دان أي كسو قيب قلن إلى تضبا ودن وأهو ما دا اوغو اوين قارا دا افريكا سوماليين اي كامت هاي اي او حالكا سلوغو سوبان لغا اي سوغان كترجو ميا دا قامدا ودام دا افريكا حوك هيا ها غار كاها اي قرمدا مدوبي او قابل سنة رمها سوماليا مايكال كاتي ما دا حا هاول غلا دا مدوغو افريكا فرانكوسي سمن ديارا وسير كورفا فنت حكومة دا سوماليا عبد الرحمن عمر يريسو اي حالكا سي هاد اللاكا سوچي ديكي مركي مناسبة دا اي قبان قبا كودويت وحينا كودا um, the Organization of African Unity is four years younger than I am, so still very, very young. Um, and uh, its foundation in 1963 uh, was a turning point uh, in the history of Africa, uh, a watershed in the continent's uh, quest to assume responsibility for its own destiny, uh, uh, for independence, for self-determination. And it is fitting that the OAU is still, like me, relatively young, because this continent is still young in many senses. It's uh, the population of Africa is very, very young. And in many ways, the challenges of the OAAU are to meet the aspirations of tens of millions, hundreds of millions of young people, men and women, boys and girls, on this continent. Um, the resources of Africa, both in terms of human resources and natural resources, are truly extraordinary. Minister of Information representing His Excellency the Prime Minister, Your Excellency the Deputy Minister of Defence, Abdullahi Robi, who together with the Minister of Information are also representing the Prime Minister, <clears throat> the Chief of Defence Forces of Somalia, who is here with us today, Ambassador Keating, the UN Special Representative of the UN Secretary General, Ambassador Kim Hian of the People's Republic of China, Ambassador Olgan Baker of the Republic of Turkey, His Excellency General Nathan Mugisha, Ambassador of uh, Uganda, Ambassador Lucas Tumbo, His Excellency Ambassador of uh, Kenya, Mr. Ben Lister Beans, representing the UK. All of you in your distinguished capacities, the head of the delegation of uh, the UN, AU, Amisom Review Team, the two heads, representing the African Union and representing the UN. Let me start by presenting the African Union 
uh, heartfelt condolences the African Union mission for organizing this event and really uh, bringing all these people together with this wonderful event with Somali bands and African culture and dancing. It really gives us a hope that Mogadishu, that we knew at the time, is back. Uh, African Union Day really is a day that we need to celebrate to look at the history and to see what are our successes, what are our challenges, and it's a time for us to look to the future and see what we need to achieve the next year. I would also like to thank uh, our uh, partners and international uh, community who are really here with us all the time, supporting, and especially to UK Embassy to Mogadishu for organizing the volleyball uh, competition today. I understand that there was a British team as well that who lost today. So you can see how Somalia is uh, and, and, and striving to. And as you know, all, most of you will know that Somalia used to be one of the best, the greatest nation in Africa that used to support the struggle of the independency to other African nations. We were the biggest contributor when it comes to peacekeeping to other African countries. We had a history that we are very proud of it. And Somalia as a founding member of the then organization of the African Union, now called African Union, we are very proud to be here standing today to see that our African forces, brothers and sisters, are here to help and support so that Somalia can become again the nation that everybody used to know. It's a great uh, honor and privilege for us uh, to be happening this event in Mogadishu, in particular this new place that African Union Mission have created for cultural activities. Really, it shows that the progress of Somalia.